Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Basically, sunny spells and showers during the next 10 days. That effectively sums things up, but at times there will be longer spells of rain. If that all sounds familiar, it's because it's the same weather we've experienced throughout May so far. The reason, high pressure over Greenland. Now on this chart here, it's a pressure chart, but I've removed some isobars to simplify things. And I've also colored in the areas of high pressure red, the areas of low pressure are blue, just to emphasize the fact that we've got that high pressure over Greenland and we're keeping it there for the next week or so with low pressure often close to the UK. These things are related and that's because that area of high pressure over Greenland is pushing the jet stream further south over the Atlantic and that south shifted jet stream will continue to pick up areas of low pressure above the Atlantic and send them towards the UK. Now the UK is not only on the cool side of the jet stream but are often in a dip of the jet stream known as an upper trough and that means that when these low pressure systems arrive they start to mill around, they get stuck over the UK and the initial rain that they bring just degenerates into days and days of showers before the next low comes along to replace it. So that's how it's looking over the next week or longer and on Thursday there'll be some persistent rain across Wales and southern parts of England. Eventually the rain tends to ease its way southwestwards and it's replaced by showers. Showers break out fairly widely elsewhere, interspersed by some sunshine. The driest weather are along the North Sea coast there, some mist and low cloud for northeast Scotland where it will feel cool, the risk of thunderstorms for Northern Ireland. Mid-teens where we do get some sunshine but there won't be a tremendous amount of sunshine around on Thursday, not a great deal on Friday either but it is looking considerably drier with showers mostly confined to Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest and thunderstorms are much less likely, mostly dry to the north and the east, still feeling cool with that wind coming in from the north for Northern Scotland. Then this area of rainfall approaches as we end the working week. Now this is a fresh low that's moving in and it's going to bring a spell of persistent rainfall into the southwest early morning Saturday and then it pushes into Northern Ireland, Wales and central parts of England for the start of the day. The rainfall does continue to move its way northeastwards. So eventually after a wet spell it turns a bit more showery and some lively showers return to southwestern areas with hail and thunder some sunshine in between. It stays largely dry in the northeast of Scotland, but on the cool side. Fast forward to Sunday, that low still in charge. It's just milling around and it's turning into just a zone of sunny spells and showers. Again, some heavy downpours out there, hail and thunderstorms. In any sunny spells, 15 to 17 Celsius, otherwise low to mid-teens, feeling cool near the North Sea coast where there will be some mist and ha around. Monday, again, quite cool in the north with 10 to 14 Celsius at best. The heaviest showers likely further south across England and Wales and still some sunshine in between, but uh, the showers very hit and miss. So basically sunny spells and showers into the start of next week, a continuing repetitive weather pattern in charge. We're still to the north of the jet stream in this general dip. This area of low pressure is very slow moving as it clears away, so showers continue to affect us Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday. The next low you can see is waiting there to come along, but looking at the main computer models for around the middle of next week, Wednesday, Thursday, they are suggesting that as that low approaches, the jet stream will throw up a little bit of a ridge and perhaps we'll have a drier day or two across the country with fewer showers and most places fine and a little warmer perhaps. But that's only in between these areas of low pressure because the main computer models again are in agreement that by the end of next week that low will come rushing in and it will bring a spell of wet and windy weather around Friday and then for a few days afterwards it will stick around to bring well heavy showers and perhaps some longer spells of rain at times. Of course we can't get the detail on those showers and the rain at this stage but stay tuned for updates. Now you'll notice that that high pressure still dominant across Greenland at this stage so for the next 10 days it remains in place but even though we get stuck in these kinds of weather patterns for several weeks quite often in the UK they do tend to have a life expectancy and there are some hints from the computer models that uh, after the next 10 days we'll see that high pressure start to decline 
and we'll see the jet stream begin to change position, perhaps shifting further north again. But that's after the next 10 days, which can be summed up as more of the same. Basically, showers or longer spells of rain. Yeah, there'll be some drier interludes with some sunshine and it will feel pleasant in that sunshine. Temperatures won't be far from average, but normally they'll be just below and similar for the nighttime periods. And so no real frosts in sight over the next 10 days, but it will be, like I say, on the cool side, particularly near any of these showers and where we get some winds from the North Sea. We'll keep you updated on the day-to-day -day detail, of course, and you can follow those updates on our social media channels. Bye-bye.